reacts. Testing, testing, one, two, three, and we are live. What's up, guys? George the Cloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my life. Today, we're checking out Sabrina Carpenter. Please, please, please. Official video. I have checked out Sabrina twice before and I'll let you know which videos feather and espresso so make sure you check those out on the uh, channel if you you know if you're interested and she has a I think I described her as like a, a modern modern Madonna kind of voice very commercial voice you know commercially friendly something you want to have on the radio it's pleasant to hear it's 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 nice it's a nice voice but we're going to check this out. It came out two, 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 three days ago. Uh, already 11 million views. So it's done pretty well. And I do not want to feel left out. So uh, I'm getting kind of uh, FOMO here. So we're going to check this out. Uh, guys, the commentary will be at the end. Never forget it. Get some popcorn, fill up your water, put your headphones on. Huh? And please, please. Please, let's go. Carpenter! Somebody bailed your ass out. Let's go. Down home to your left. I said to your left. Ma'am, are these your belongings? Once you've confirmed, you'll follow officers in alley through the exit ramp. Ma'am, are you listening? Ma'am, this is not a beauty counter. I'm going to need you to fly. Ma'am, activate the say candy will be used against you in a court of law. Girl. 
there it is uh pretty much exactly what i was expecting i don't even know how since i don't know that many songs by sabrina carpenter but just what i've heard from her it sounds very 80 ish and uh I'll, I'll say it again she sounds like the modern madonna i'm not comparing of course i'm not saying equal but it's just the sound is similar like if you were to take a song from madonna from the 80s and kind of re-envisioned it for 2024 then i guess this is kind of what we would see um well first things first we hit the like we subscribe i'll have a link of the original video um down in the description below this was sort of a bonnie and clyde situation uh you know she went to jail somebody bailed her out on the on the way out she saw this guy i guess they both fell in love instantly love at first sight oh in in, in the most glorious of places right and um well they struck up uh, a relationship look at the uh the the vibes here right all in the uh the pink like fur coats and uh sitting on on top of that classic car this guy walking out of jail like he's uh he's coming straight from greece the movie so this this gives me a lot of 80s vibes which i really enjoy to me the best decade but um and then you know the sunglasses the the head covering it's just so iconic over that time period it's it's kind of interesting that they're doing this now in 2024 and the whole chorus of the song she's saying please 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 don't prove don't prove me right uh saying like please don't be that bad guy stop doing you know getting yourself into trouble don't you know don't do this to me and there she is bailing him out time after time again so it is kind of like that bonnie and clyde uh situation where this guy's a criminal he's involved with some sh shady stuff looks like the mob something like that and she is an accomplice and she's kind of you know assisting him in getting away and you know whatever the business is so it it's it, it's that kind of theme it works well for a movie and uh i think it'd be cool i would actually see a movie uh with these characters here with sabrina and, and whoever this actor is which kind of looks familiar i don't know if he's um famous or what but his his face uh looks familiar to me kind of like a, a big nose small eyes the i think i've seen him before but anyway um yeah i i enjoyed this like i said before she produces commercial songs right that people can enjoy but at the same time it's not generic at least to me because she adds some some details sprinkles in there uh some sweetness and and some um some some parmesan cheese and and whatever you want to add to your pizza whatever toppings um because for example the synth at the big at the beginning doo -doo 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 -doo. that to me sounds really interesting and unique we're gonna play that part again if if i may oh that sounds like That to me is a really cool and balanced uh, sound. I have to compliment whoever mixed the sound for this because it sounds super well. I mean, her voice was really clear. It was in the foreground. All the instruments, um, like I said, very balanced. Nothing is overwhelming. Nothing is saturated. Like you don't hear a lot of a certain thing. Uh, rather like you hear each instrument for itself and i think it's uh it's key this is really important because maybe a lot of music today doesn't have that kind of mentality that they try to you know i think less is more sometimes right and in today's 
music scene or whatever i think they think more is more is better and it's really not if you go back and listen to music from different decades think about the balance in the sound from the voice of whoever singing to the instruments the guitar the bass the the beat the the highs the lows it was super balanced and they let it's like they were showcasing each instrument at a certain part so you could enjoy all of them and be like oh wow i i heard every, like this is a, an awesome sound but today it's just like bombarding you with with so much sound that it doesn't you know it loses effect so i think one of the things that i am most impressed by sabrina carpenter is the uh the balance of the music i don't know if i'm i'm making myself uh be understood let me know guys if if i'm making any sense but that's what i'm trying to say she has these special touches very balanced still commercial just enough like perfect touches and i'm surprised i'm i'm enjoying her music this much to be honest because uh, i hadn't heard of her before and i've only seen three songs but those three songs the way the music is set up the structure on point like honestly on point so i'm gonna have to check out more music from her uh not really a a like my favorite genre or, or a genre that i'm really into because to me this is kind of pop commercial pop in in with a mix of like 80s uh which i do enjoy the 80s but i don't know this sort of pop i i just didn't think that i would be enjoying her music that much because she has this sort of barbie look to her and barbie sound to her voice where she kind of i don't know if she exaggerates like the way she's singing with those sighs like elongating the note you know what i'm saying it's like when you try to speak like a barbie but singing so it sounds like artificial but in her case i don't know the music is working so well that i'm really into it and uh it's it's solid it's super solid no no negative things to say so um uh, guys let me know which uh sabrina song you'd like me to check out next don't forget to hit the like subscribe all that um join the channel if you want to support me hit me up on instagram at george the cloud and at the end do a flip till the next thanks for watching